seven cloud kitchen marketing channel that you must master in order for you to make sales. So keep watching. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a thriving small business or a profitable food business. The first platform you must dominate is Instagram if you wanna start your cloud kitchen operation. Why is that the case? Because it is the first and biggest social media platform that everyone is on. On a monthly basis, there are more than 1 billion active users on Instagram. What does that mean? That means just because you're not on Instagram or you don't use it actively, your customers most likely are. That's the reason why you must have a presence on Instagram. And the second reason why is because that's just part of the culture of how Instagram works. People take pictures of their food, the phone eats first. And the third is that you can actually bookmark and people actually do bookmark the places that they wanna try or the food that they wanna try. Share a quick story with you. Every time my wife and I try to figure out what to eat on the weekend and we don't know what to eat, we would always pull up our Instagram to check of different places or different shops and different foods that we wanna try that we have saved throughout the weeks and we would choose a place from there onwards. And that's exactly how a lot of people, customers of yours are doing as well. They save these different bookmarks so then that way when the opportunity comes, they would order from them. That's the reason why you must be on Instagram. When it comes to marketing your cloud kitchen on Instagram, these are some of the things that you must master. First of all, post drooling pictures of your food item on there and share behind the scenes with us. Utilize reels, super, super effective way to reach your customers. Utilize stories to share behind the scenes, your personality, some of your values, so then that way you can connect with your audience. And next, make sure you have collaborations with influencers so then that way they can cross promote for you and you can cross promote for them. These are just some of the different areas you can utilize Instagram to market for your cloud kitchen. If you wanna learn more about that as we dive deeper, definitely check out this video right here. The second platform you must master is your website. Now, why is that the case? It is because it is much more valuable and much more of a decision maker than you think. More than 77% of diners go and visit a website, your restaurant's website or your cloud kitchen website before they decide whether to dine in at your place or not. So that means it makes a huge difference. So if your website sucks, that what does that mean? That means that your load time is very slow. It takes minutes for your website to load. That's a no-go because we don't have that attention span. If your website is not mobile responsive, what does that mean? That means it doesn't show up properly on your mobile phone. It's gonna turn off a lot of people. People just go elsewhere. And if you have bad photos, just not appealing enough, they much rather order from places that have good pictures. And on top of that, if your navigation sucks, it's out of date and people can't find your menu items. And lastly, if your website is not SEO optimized, what does that mean? That means when people Google you, they cannot find you. It is below your competitors. Then you're losing potentially thousands of views every single month. What does the views have to do with it? It is because when you have views, you have potential customers. And if you're losing that spot to your competitor, what does that mean? That means you're losing sales to your competitors. And this is a really important part because these are free traffic. You're not paying for these traffic. It is through Google that is ranking you. So that's the reason why you must pay attention to your website if you wanna build a good cloud kitchen operations and to market for you. And if you wanna learn more about how and the components that you need in a proper website, then definitely check out this video right here. The third platform you must master is PR. What does PR mean? Press release. That means getting your cloud kitchen operation and your brand featured in the local news and the local publication. Now, a lot of people just sit back, wait and relax. They just think that, hey, as long as I make good food, people will come find me and feature me. That's a big myth. Why is that the case? Because PR is strategic work. So what does that mean? That means editors are always looking for a good story to write about. And it is your job as a food brand to hand that story to them. You must do your research on how your editors like their content, whether it be a listicle, whether it be top five, whether it be their own experience, firsthand experience that they write about. And then you also need to write down what makes you so different. 
Why are you existing in the marketplace? And why would the audience care about you? What problem do you solve? So what does it mean to get your Cloud Kitchen published and have a news article? It allows you to get much more exposure. And what does that mean? That means you get much more potential sales for your Cloud Kitchen business. And at the same time, this is also very great social proof to showcase to your existing customers for you to post on your Instagram and all these other platforms for you to actually boast about how great your Cloud Kitchen operation really is. The fourth platform to master is Google My Business. Now, Google My Business is definitely super underrated when it comes to running a Cloud Kitchen operation. On a monthly basis, there are more than 5.6 billion searches on Google. And out of all those searches, local intent searches have skyrocketed to more than 46%. Now, what does that mean? It means that a lot of people are stuck within their local area. That means they're searching of what to do, what to eat in their local area. So if your cloud kitchen operation can be above all every, everyone else that is being searched for, that means you can improve your listing. That means you potentially have more conversion and more sales and more revenue for your operations. So what are some of the ways you can utilize Google My Business to optimize? Well, to share a few points with you, make sure that you keep it up to date. That means all the information you put in there are correct. A lot of businesses don't have that aligned with their website, don't have those information up to date. Make sure you answer all the questions and utilize the Q&A feature within Google My Business because if one person has a question about your food product, majority are that other people have that question as well. And next is make sure you start posting pictures and update the post so then that way when people come to your listing, they see that you're still in operation. There are things to look at. And best of all, aside from all the reviews, aside from you being on Google, you can actually allow and link up your website and third-party apps on how people can actually order from you on your GMB listing. So it's a really, really big plus because when people come to your listing, they look at the reviews, they look at your pictures, and they look at all your information, and now they're ready to order. You can actually direct that traffic to your website or third-party apps like Uber Eats, DoorDash, or any of those delivery services. Now, as a note for you, is that not all businesses are eligible for this Google My Business listing. The ones that are only selling through third-party apps are not eligible as of today's time and today's date on Google. What does that mean? That means you must offer takeout and delivery as an option in order for you to actually list on Google My Business. For you to learn more about this, definitely check out this video where I dive deep about Google My Business and your food operations. If you guys enjoyed this video and find value in this video, make sure you guys smash the like button and let me know this is the type of content that you enjoy. Now, back to regular programming. The fifth platform that you must pay attention to and to master are review sites. Now, a lot of people, they wanna avoid having a bad experience with their food, and that's the reason why they rely heavily on review sites to see, hey, is this food good or not good? So, that means that Yelp, TripAdvisor, Sagit, Google My Business, these are all platforms that you must be on because they're getting hundreds of thousands of traffic every single month. That means that just because you're not using it, your customers still are. And according to a study done by UC Berkeley, half a star rating and increase, so when you go from four stars to 4.5 stars, increases your conversion rate by more than 30 to 40% on a 7 p.m. night booking. Now, what does that mean? That means that you can potentially get thousands of dollars of sales just because of a half star. So definitely something for you to pay attention on. So now you might be thinking, how do I keep up to date with these review sites? Definitely carve out time on a weekly basis so then that way you can check the rating for your Cloud Kitchen operation. Now, when you're getting reviews, definitely vet them through, whether it's a good review or a bad review. When it's a good review, answer to it and know that is your strength and double down on that. Use that as marketing tactic. Use that as your ammo to post on your social media and cross-promote that. 
On the other hand, if you're getting a bad review, there are two types of bad reviews. There are the ones that are warranted. The warranted ones are areas of improvement. Don't just shrug it off. Acknowledge it and show that you're willing to learn from it. And it also allows you to build a better business. So definitely don't ignore the warranted bad reviews. On the other hand, there are troll bad reviews. What does that mean? That means that people are there just to troll you and it's up to you to choose how to reply to these troll responses. For me, I choose to really just let my character shine through. I honestly don't care and I tell them that they're a troll and tell them to get off my platform. Really, that's the way that I wanna deal with my reviews. So for you, understanding that reviews matter and for you to always constantly check it up, set alerts so whenever you get reviews, for you to jump on it right away. Now when it comes to reviews, you must be strategical on how you can improve your listing. Some of the strategies include having an insert card that you put into every order to encourage your customers to leave a genuine review for their experience. Another two ways would be SMS marketing. So you can text them or write them a newsletter if you have them as an email subscriber. These are ways for you to actually improve, proactively improve your food listings. The sixth platform you must master for your cloud kitchen operation are third-party delivery apps. Now, I know a lot of people have love-hate relationship when it comes to third-party apps like Uber Eats, DoorDash, and whatnot, just because of their high fees. Now, I want to be able to put that foot in the door and tell you that we must see them as an ally. That's the way we are gonna be seeing it moving forward, especially if you're running a cloud kitchen operation, because not only are they a logistic company for you to help you fulfill, deliver all the goods, they're also a marketing channel. They are a platform, just like Google My Business, just like Instagram, they are a platform itself that has their own unique review ratings. They have their sponsored listings. They have different campaigns and promotions that they are running. And on top of that, they have their own internal dashboards that you must understand how to use. And because you utilize them and because you are joining all their programs, they will reward you by putting you higher on the listing. What does that mean? That means that let's say if you're running a chicken wing business and someone's searching for chicken wing, just imagine every single time people are searching for chicken wing, your listing is always on the top. That means you're gonna get majority of the sales because people are like, oh, they see you more, they have more exposure, that means there's more probability that they're gonna order from you. Now, a lot of people are not paying attention to the nuances of each of these third-party apps. That means there's a golden period that you can leverage, that you can actually subscribe to everything that they offer pay these apps more in order for you to get more exposure and in turn get more sales for your cloud kitchen operations. The seventh platform that you cannot sleep on and you must master for your cloud kitchen operation is TikTok. Now 2020 definitely shows us that TikTok is not just for 13 year old kids. People are on there sharing different financial tips, how to videos, skits and really everyone is on TikTok. And the reason why is because TikTok's algorithm is just so wild. That means if you're putting out good content, good consistent content, you don't need a lot of followers in order for you to blow up. And we see that time and time again. It is so easy for people to get a lot of traction and exposure on TikTok. And when you do get that exposure, your life will change for the better and forever. So, we decided to start our business during the pandemic. We spent our life savings and prayed for the best. And because of TikTok, this is how it went. Because that's how TikTok works. So definitely it is a platform that you don't want to sleep on. Go on TikTok and actually put out content and do it consistently. So then that way you can get lots of sales for your Cloud Kitchen operations. So there you guys go, the seven cloud kitchen marketing channels that you must dominate and master if you wanna run a successful cloud kitchen operation. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys want more training on how you can actually do it with the right fundamentals, really align your values on how you can actually create this operation and then connect with your audience and then you can explode in revenue. If you wanna learn more about that, we have an hour of free training 
in the link below, completely free for you. So then that way you can learn the fundamentals. Definitely check it out. It's completely free for you to do so. If you find any value in this video whatsoever, make sure you guys smash the like button to show some support. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.